Di Morrissey AM is one of our country's most prolific authors. Passionate about Australian storytelling, her sweeping sagas have sold more than three million copies. But before she wrote her way to the bestseller list, Di worked as a copy girl and later a cadet at the Australian Women's Weekly. Now, the incredible writer has reached a major career milestone. River Song has just hit bookshelves, her 30th novel in 33 years. And the fabulous Di Morrissey joins us now. Hello, Di. Good morning. 30 novels in just over three decades. Uh, That's yes. a year. You are <laughs> prolific. Well, um, it's what I've always wanted to do. Uh, and, you know, when you achieve dreams, you've got to kind of maintain the, 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 the race, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, I mean, my kids were in college and uh, I, you know, walked out of television because, you know, at seven years old, I wanted to write books and suddenly you were aware one morning that, that you're not doing the thing that much as I did love television to a certain extent. Mm. <laughs> I didn't like the early mornings. <laughs> There's a caveat there. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, um, it's lovely to think that one is, you know, a achieving that goal that you set yourself at age seven. 100%. How incredible. Uh, you're such a champion, die of, of Australian storytelling. Mm. What is it about, I guess, our country, our characters that captivate you in such a potent way? I think, well, the, one of the reasons I, I saw the need at the time for we were very impressed with, with foreign authors and there were no... Actually, since Thornbirds, there hadn't been a truly Australian book and I'd, I was married to a US diplomat and we lived in foreign countries. I'd never seen my own country. So in travelling around with people like R.M. Williams, for example, to name drop, but, I mean, mm. people that knew the country was where... I mean, there's a zillion stories out there. So... I felt it was important that we understand our culture, our history, good and bad, and the amazing places and people that are, you know, next door. I love that. How Tell us about this, this new novel. It's called River Song. What's this one about? River Song is set up in the Manning Valley, mm -hmm. more or less. Could be anywhere in a country town. Sure. And it's just basically four women, different backgrounds, ages, social standing, and they... I was trying to think how they all get together and I put them in a musical at the local theatre. Mm. So they're along, which is quite an interesting musical now that I think about it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Um, any, anyway, they buy a lottery ticket and they win zillions of dollars and then it's what happens next. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so good. Yeah. There's, and, and there's, a, I guess, a bittersweet element to this day. You've dedicated this book to your late husband. Yes, yes. Boris... Um, uh, he was a cinematographer. We both grew up. He was uh, worked for my mother, who was a, our first female woman television director, um, and uh, and we knew each other when we were fifteen. And then we went our separate ways. I was fifteen. He was in his twenties. And then we met twenty, you know, thirty years later, uh, and uh, we start. We had twenty five wonderful years to together. But he he just woke up one morning. He. There were little signs, but he woke up one morning and didn't know his name, didn't know where he was, and he had absolutely a massive brain tumour. So I'm very, um, I'm very aware now of the uh, 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 prevalence of, of and how tragic um, brain cancer can be, particularly in young children. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. it's very sad. I'm so sorry to hear so that. yes, I miss him, but I borrowed my daughter's dog Scout, so I have a companion. A companion. Now. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's that's really lovely. Can I just say though? You, you said you wanted to be a writer since you were age seven, and yet this is obviously something that you started... You know, you didn't start this off in your 20s. You don't leave high school and become a novelist, I'm here to tell you. <laughs> so which I just is... love that you had the guts and the... To walk out of television. Yeah, 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 but, but yeah. to do something that you loved and not go, well, you know, my kid's now off at uni and that's it for me. Like, you've had no. this Well, life. journalism was the best thing that I could have done. And, and maybe you've noticed now there's a lot of novelists that were, are, are former journalists and stuff. Mm. It just... You you get to um, understand deadlines, t uh, the the um, picking, finding stories, mm. getting getting stories out of people. But the life experience too, Di. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, Good on you. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm being asked all the time to write my autobiography. I keep saying it's not over yet. But, I mean, you know... Um, but, no, I couldn't... Uh... Would that ever be on the cards? Uh, Would you... I, no, I think there's a little bit of me in every single book, you know, that, yeah. that you can't help but, to, but do that in a way. And the things that I love and appreciate and the things that annoy me, you know, I mean... I still get very annoyed at things. I started a local newspaper for 10 years. And, and it recently yeah. closed? I closed it down after Boris died. It was, you know, I just, he was a big part of that. And mm. I felt I'm going into a new phase of my life. Not that I'm giving up book writing, mm. but maybe I'll produce that musical. Mm. I think you should. I think that would be an excellent idea. Di, always lovely to see lovely you. Lovely to see Congratulations you. Congratulations on set. 30 novels is just phenomenal. Good Thank on you. Thank you. Thank you very Amazing. much. Amazing. Di Morris's new book is called River Song. Ripper Reed. Uh, it is out now.